Welcome back to Pfeiffer Vacuum. In my last video, I did talk about chambers, components and materials. At the end of the video, I did show to you how to connect the backing pump and the turbo pump. And as you can see here on my right hand side, the backing pump is already connected to the turbo pump and the turbo pump is connected to the chamber. So everything is set for generating ultra high vacuum. At the back of the chamber, we did connect the gauge to monitor the pressure during our work. But now in this video, I would like to talk about the different types of backing pumps. In this chart, you can see all backing pumps Pfeiffer Vacuum offers. Here you can see diaphragm pumps, scroll pumps, roots or multi-stage roots pumps, screw pumps and rotary vein pumps. All the different backing pumps have different operating principles. If you're interested in them, please click the links in the description below. Today I show you two examples of backing pumps. Here we have an oil sealed rotary vein pump. This pump type works gas type independent, which is a great advantage. That means that it pumps light gases as good as heavy gases. The dry pumps, as an example the diaphragm pumps, are working gas type dependent. A great advantage of the dry pump technique is that it's dry and clean, so your application will be contamination free. All different pump techniques have their own advantages and disadvantages. If you want to know which is the best pump for your application, please contact your Pfeiffer vacuum partner. And now let us start the high scroll. Now the high scroll is running and we are in the backing pressure regime. The high pace, the turbo pump, is still turned off. In the next video I will talk about the turbo pump and finally generating ultra high vacuum. Stay tuned and see you soon. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.